हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ एडवांस वेब डिज़ाइनिंग सो द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस वीडियो विल बी बटन डिज़ाइन आई विल टेल यू हाउ यू कैन डिज़ाइन योर बटन इन डिफरेंट वेज ओके आई विल टेल यू वन देन अकॉर्डिंग टू योर विशेज यू कैन जस्ट डिज़ाइन योर बटन नेक्स्ट आई विल टेल यू अबाउट बटन फंक्शनिंग If you remember in the previous video I said that I will tell you how you can uh, you can make a function define in your button right so we will do that in button functioning alert in this uh, for this video I will tell you how to use javascript alert alert box only okay uh, like if you click on if you will click on the button then there will be an alert box okay there will be a pop up window basically then i will tell you how you can insert a text field so let's begin so first is button design this is the basic tag opening tags html head style okay whatever so in body tag you can see that i have mentioned the button here button now class button this is the opening tag right and class is basically it class basically defines the id of the button okay using this class you can design your button so re remember one thing that in this class btn is the object of the button okay so class uh, class name is contact btn is object object name is contact so this is this will work as the id of the button on click it will call contact function now this is where we will use alert alert box okay in this example we are not concerned with alert box we are concerned with only the designing of button so let's just skip this part you don't need to write on click this okay then here is the, uh, the here is the text which will be displayed in the button that is contact us and this is the closing tag now moving to the designing part Uh, whenever you design a button or anything for example if i have created a paragraph and i have assigned an id to it whenever you design such things you have to use dot then id right like here the uh, the name was contact so dot contact and then you will start your designing okay so first is background color now background color will be the color of your button background okay uh, and a simple button is usually in a uh, shade of gray right not properly gray even so in this background color gray will be the background color of button border uh, this is to add a border to the button basically solid white will be your color you can use any other color for example solid red black or anything 2 pixel the 2 px is basically 2 pixel this is the length of i mean of what width you want the border of your button to be okay so it is 2 pixel then color is white here the color will be the color of the text okay then padding is done in 14 px and 20 px 28 pixels so this is also like uh, how much padding you want to be in your you want to be there in your button okay then font size is 16 pixel you can increase or decrease this font size then cursor is pointer now this cursor pointer is basically uh, whenever you go to that button then you will see and you won't see an arrow there okay you will see a hand so this means cursor pointer you can define if you don't define this now then you you will see the arrow only okay this is the output you can see the button here with two pixel of border white color this is your text contact us in white color and the background is grayish of gray color and background image is added here as i taught you in the previous video next is button functioning now here we will see how to add an alert box or a pop up window you can say everything is similar to the previous example okay you here you will write on click contact this is the function name contact is basically function name y if you want to call the function then you will simply write its name with 
parenthesis with the pair of parenthesis and here under this script tag you will define your function this is a part of javascript as i told you in the basic web designing course that whenever you are writing anything uh, of javascript you have to mention it under the script tag right so and whenever you define the function you first write function now the here function means that you are defining a function if you want to declare or define a variable then you will write var right so function contact under this you have we have given alert alert is a your pop up window which will be shown on the display alert then in the parenthesis pair you will write your text in double quotes whatever you want to write here like i have written that you can contact us on this number which ends with 5 6 Seven eight. Okay, then semicolon. Take make sure that you uh, uh, you add this semicolon, double quotes, all these things because it really matters. It really matters. So, and the output will be this. Whenever the user will click on this contact us button, this win this pop up box will be there. It will be shown. The page says you can contact us on this. The same text we have written here. right now in case you want to add a text field uh, you can add a button using input tags as well as i already told you in the previous video and in text field also we will use input tags to insert a text field you can see here input type text type text means we will be inserting a text field uh, whatever you will type in the text field it will be visible to the user in alpha in alphabets okay like in a b c d and in case if you write here type equals to i'm um, sorry so in case if you write password here then whatever the user will type will be displayed as stars and not as a readable text okay so type text because we are cons we are in inserting a text field then place holder equals to type here so whatever you will type in place holder it will be displayed as uh, as it is in the text field okay but as a background thing like whenever if, if you you see those things like uh, even on fb uh, fb's login page you see that the text field says password so you know that now we have to enter password here okay then you just click on and start typing so this is just like that only it will be displayed as a, an additional information it will tell the user that whether he can type here or not or what he can type right and other code is similar to the previous examples like the designing part is here and then the mesh function is here only we have added only text field so this is the output type here this is the place holder text okay this is the button and this is your text field you can um, you can vary its width and height accordingly you just need to add the elements of like width equals to this and height equals to this So this is all about this video. If you like this video then don't forget to rate, review and share this video. And for any queries you can write in the comment section or question and answer section. Also in my next video I will be telling you how you can create a login page. Okay? So this is all about this video. Thank you.